control, we are typing clearance for shuttle launch. Initiate Stanford protocol. All clear procedures, check. Hello, Monsters of Banjo, and welcome to Ixion. Ixion, Shuttle I can't remember. EMP Sharon is now docked. Cool, thanks. One, and pressurized. I hope you would have done that before we munchie docked, but never mind. Protocol online. Oh, that munchie. Oh, fucking guy. Uh, so this is like a space builder game. Welcome on board the Tycoon, property of Dolus Aerospace Engineering Corporation. You will soon be given your assignments, but until then, please continue to wait near the docking bay. We hope you have a productive voyage, and we'd like to thank you for your contribution towards humanity's future. Administrator, I am Eden. They're just walking the around. assistant installed on board the Tycoon. On their own little streets, In which is a bit weird. With the Munchie Protocol. I have been designed to take into I don't know what that is. your complete psychological profile so that oh God. I may more accurately respond to any needs you may have. My primary Even a tentacle? No, don't worry, don't worry. Don't worry. It's, it's, fi it's fine. That's, that's for me and my other therapist. Okay, I thanks. I will keep track of the tasks that are necessary for you to fulfill your prerogative of reaching Proxima Centauri. Ah, oh, I can't wait. Out field research, mining yeah. operations, Cool. Manufacturing protocols. Oh. Those colonization tests. I don't know what those are. So this is probably fine. So this is like a little spacey game, a little space building game. That I got the the key for. It was just off I'm on this site called Key Mailer where people will literally just send you keys. I know, first world problems. And this was one of them. And at first I looked at it and kinda of went, yeah, I don't know. Um but I've tried this. This is just the demo. It's just the prologue. But it's it's pretty good. It's pretty good. I'm the looking forward to it. Oh. I wanted to introduce you to your first tasks personally. While eating an apple, apparently. Uh, Dolos is cryonics lead. Marduk council member Giovanni Batista. Okay. So, oh, right. I'm sorry. Did I interrupt your breakfast? Your first objective will be to begin setting up essential infrastructure aboard the Tycoon. Okay. Meeting the environmental conditions that are required to support your crew. 
Are you my supervisor? Foundations. You will then oversee the installation of the Vol engine and perform a short test jump to Proxima Centauri. Upon arrival, your research teams will carry out a brief survey of local space, gather a few rock and coal dust samples, fire up the colonization protocol, begin building the foundations for mankind's future, yada yada yada. And then, you'll come back. Oh, how long is that going to take? In order to achieve uh, this, I've got some things on later this afternoon, I don't know. With the Tycoon's core functions. Okay. It's no big deal. There's the production, stockpiling yep. and distribution right. of resources, construction, Great. balancing of power output with allocation. That oh, does... And space exploration, you know, okay. setting I... out expeditions and all that. Basically, everything needed to establish scientific advancement and harmonious autonomy on board the Tycoon following the first test of its Vol engine. Eden's gonna display and keep track of your main objectives. Oh, I, and look, Administrator, don't let the position go to your head. Veneer I has insisted would, to center Dolos's focus on the Tycoon. But this mission is just in preparation for our next project, the Protagoras. What is the with Marduk the names? The Council worked damn hard to pull this mission together ahead of schedule. You're so, eating an apple, mate. Line, do as you're told, and oh. bring the Tycoon back in one piece. Okay. Leave the grand gestures and saving of mankind from ecosystemic destruction to us. I'm sorry, what? Okay? One last word of advice. We don't all think like Veneer Dolos. I don't know who that so person yet, is. No human law has been officially established amongst the stars. That sounds like an opportunity knocking to me. That sounds like a red flag to me, mate. Fuck me. Uh, okay, uh, good. So we've now got our UI. This is good. So we're going to get him out there. Uh, right, Foundations of the Future. So we have a little mission. We've got tutorials. Fuck that. I don't need tutorials. F tutorials where we're going. We don't need no tutorials. Sorry. So we've got buildings, basically. So this is our little spacey dock thing. Isn't this nice? We can pause time, do all that kind of good stuff. Uh, so this is the inside of our space station. That's the outside of it. We're currently orbiting Earth. And there are various different sections. Now, have you played a game called Startopia? It reminded me a lot of that. And I loved Startopia. That was a fucking brilliant game. So I I'm I'm kind of I'm kind of digging this. I wasn't sure to start off with, but I'm now gonna digging this. So we're gonna build a, a workshop. We need a workshop to build other buildings. I'm gonna put him along the back here. And then we're gonna connect to Rotom, because of course. In space stations, you need roads. And currently, all the little people are just running around. They're just running laps. Why? I don't know. Um, it, it just, they just are, which is fine, I guess. So we're going to build our little workshop there. Our workshop is constructed. And then we need a stockpile. So we are going to build a stockpile. We can switch our buildings around. We're going to pop him there. And uh, you are going to... So we've got different resources we can stockpile here. We're going to stockpile... Alloy, that's the one. And we can get more alloy by actually cleaning out these big piles of garbage that apparently were on the space station before we got here. Um, which is fine, I guess. It's, you know, it's it's all fine. So we're going to connect this road up, and once we've done that, we can then grab these. I'm going to grab this one over here and these ones, because I know later on we've got a really big building to build, and if we don't clear this out, it's uh, a fucking nightmare. So, um... There we go. So this demo was actually available uh, a month ago, I think. Um, it's now it's now not available, so you can't play it at the moment. It's unfortunate. Ah, oh, someone's calling me. I hate it when someone calls me. Administrator, yes. I have established a connection with Dolus's lead data scientist, Emma Plain. Could you just text me? I prefer texts. Administrator, uh. Mr. Dolos has made it abundantly clear when it comes to security. Given the importance of the Tycoon, we must have full control over what is happening inside the station. My name is right. Emma Klein, Dolos' uh -huh. lead data scientist and member of the Marduk Council. I My still don't know what that is. have just completed final synchronization between Eden and our data treatment tool, the DLS. I still the don't DLS, know what any of that is. Or data listening system oh, is you're explaining, that's fine. Scanning, recording, and parsing exchanges of any kind. The DLS programming that is a part of Eden will filter all data collected and bring to your attention only the most relevant information. It will also provide that you with a condensed overview of any situations that may arise and okay. formulate potential future outcomes. Oh. It will permit you to give direct orders without having to go through additional unnecessary paperwork. Eden will then take care of everything via their DLS accreditation. 
as I quite like unnecessary paperwork. Produced by my department. I think you'll find that once you start using the DLS, you'll never be able to do without it. Oh, and before I let you go ahead and start writing history, Dr. Murphy, uh -huh. our lead medical expert, wanted me to bring to your attention a possible side effect of vol jumping. Whilst okay. There's a correlation between prolonged space travel and the development of early onset dementia. He believes uh, that a what? Vol sorry. has the potential to accelerate this process, although oh. this is yet to be proven. Uh, okay. His recommendation is for you to immediately send any crew members that are exhibiting uncharacteristic or symptomatic behavior to an infirmary, uh -huh. as these uh. facilities are equipped to treat the mind as well as the body. Okay. Remember that all of your actions and choices are being reported by Eden. We are not affiliated with any national or even international organization. The only people that you are answerable to are those of us who sit on the Marduk Council, who represent the collective interests and ambitions of the company. I'm seeing a lot of red flags here, Madam Emma. You're not listening to me. That's fine. Uh, communal dining, right? So we've got to obviously we've got to feed our. I mean, they're, they're using a lot of energy just running around doing absolutely nothing at the moment. So we are going to need a refractory. To feed all our hungry, hungry runners. Look at them go. They are running, running around. Okay, I'm going to put my little refractory there. There we go. We've also got an event. Tycoon crew members currently have no means of collecting food supplies from storage. Analysts suggest impending crisis due to an influx of hungry crew. And subsequent accident rates are predicted to rise by 64.7%. If I don't know the base percent, that is meaningless to me. If it's 1%, that's like a 1.64. I mean, what? who cares about that? No, no one. Uh, so, blah, 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 refractories, build a refractory. Okay, okay we, can, we can commit to building a refractory. I've literally just stuck, stuck it down there anyway, so uh, we are absolutely fine. Let's go and collect all of the bits and pieces from this stuff. Obviously, we'll need some... Um, so, in fact, what we're going to do is we're going to build housing as well. Because uh, at some point, they'll go, hey, we want to live so Which makes sense, really. You know, currently, they're just living on a big old space... Spacey station. And uh, it's not... It's not got all the home comforts, has it? So I'm going to pop you down there. I could do ones along there. That would make sense, wouldn't it? Although, mind you, we can just do another road, can't we? So... If I do that, I'm going to stick a road along there. And then maybe one day we'll link up to these lost people down here. And they'll stop having to run around in a big circle. But that is not this day. Have we got a road there? I did not put a road there. There we go. Perfect. There we go. You can see the little men wearing hard hats in space. It's like a refractory. Uh, you, you can only sort of like scoot around. There we, there we go. Can we see? Oh, there's like little... There we go. Again, to, to pick there. It's like a it's like a all-you-can-eat buffet. It's nice. It's nice. It's very nice. Uh, we've got some food there as well. So we can... Is that actually connected up? It is, so eventually we can actually start, like, you know, grabbing the food. You know what we need is a stockpile, don't we? That's what we need. We need a stockpile. Let's put the stockpile, I don't know, here, here, here. There we go. Now we're building a bunch of houses. This is good. Obviously, we're needing that those alloys, so we're cleaning out these buildings down here, which is good as well. This is all fine. So that should be, we had the mission there, build a second stockpile, which is what exactly what we're doing. We can see our little little trucks there ferrying the alloys back. And then once their job is done, they disintegrate into nothing because that's apparently then we just build more. So it's a constant rolling line of disintegration, which is fun. I can only do five at a time. Obviously, you have more stockpiles, then there's more trucks taking alloys to the place they need to go. But for the most part, this is fine. It'll get done. And uh, your little little buildy bots. From your workshop can only build one building at a time anyway so it's not super important because by the time that one house has got its alloys it'll build that building and then it'll start on the next one and then they'll start filling up so you don't need more than that it would just fill up the alloys quicker and wouldn't really you know help you all that much so uh this is fine but isn't this a pretty game like i just love this view it's nice you can actually build things on the outside as well and eventually you go to the solar system so you can build like ships and stuff which is pretty neat, isn't it? That's good. So we've got a little mission here. No quarters to live in. Yes, I commit to build living spaces for all present crew. Although it's... Nope, can't do it. Within 12 cycles. So this reminds me a little bit of... Oh, what's that game where you live in the snow and it's horrible because you send children down mines? That one. It's that sort... And sort of after the... 
Apocalypse. That one. The surviving the apocalypse aftermath surviving the aftermath that one the one from paradox that's it's sort of similar to that one as well but i like the space aesthetic i say it reminds me of startopia and uh fond memories of of startopia so we need another because we've got 85 and i think we've got housing for what does it say not enough i don't think I think we need we need another one, don't we? I think so. Uh, so, if we just grab the alloys from that, so we can clear that one away. We want to make sure they all line up properly. We want them in the same direction, otherwise it looks higgledy-piggledy. There's nothing worse than having a space station that's higgledy-piggledy. Oh, nightmare. Can you imagine if I had some buildings looking in the wrong direction? I would be, oh, fuming. Absolutely fuming. Right, so pop you there. You will have... There we go. Now you're connected. Good. So that should... I think that should be enough buildings for all the people to live in, I believe. And uh, that should be fine. So, I also want to connect up to this one so we can grab the alloys from that. We could also build an infirmary, but we have to be careful because we don't have that much power. I mean, we should be fine. We've now got a tech lab. The tech lab is fucking massive, as you can see. Look at this. Look at this big boy. Friggin' um, just ginormous. Um, I kind of want you to go the other way. Can we? Can you? I want you to go that way. Can you go there? If I put you there. Is that fine? Like, if only they left all this crap all over the place. Who left this crap all over the place? Okay, we'll just connect you up for a minute. Well, then we can... Right. Ugh. And then... There we go. It's, it's not aesthetically pleasing. But once we've once we've sorted out this garbage, thrown it away, we'll, we'll sort this out a little bit. Currently, at the moment, it's... Uh, oh, it's all over the place. Like, can you just stack it in a corner? Just make more sense, wouldn't it? Oh, yeah, we need food. Right, so we'll put food in there, because currently we don't have any food going to the factory. It looks like food. It's just cardboard cutouts of food. So they scrabble at it desperately as their hunger pangs. But it's, it's just a picture of a banana. It's not an actual banana. So we'll build that. We'll get the, uh, the food there, and then that'll start harvesting the food from this building. Why is there a big pile of food there? I don't know. It's probably not important. Uh, but once we fed... 200 crew members. Currently, we fed five with just they've just eaten the pictures of bananas. They're that hungry. Uh, once they once they've eaten some actual foods, then we'll complete that objective, and uh, we've got our our thingy on the go. As oh, it's not actually connected up. That's why it's uh... there. We go. Perfect. Now they'll build that road, and uh, everything will be fine. Um, I also need another. Another. I'm going to put this one. He. he I'm going to put this one. Um, I'm gonna, all right, I'm going to put this one here because it's the only space I have. So whack you down there. Administrator, Did... I have an incoming transmission from Marduk Council Member Henry Bargeville. Okay, I, I'm worried that these Marduk people might be a tad evil. Bonjour, Administrator. What Hello. A wonderful day Sorry, bonjour. Of faith, don't you think? Uh, I am yes. Henri Bargeville, writer, okay. philosopher, lobbyist. But and ludicrously French. I have taken the liberty of personally arranging an exchange out of courtesy with the Oshanabi, a okay. ship in high orbit belonging to one of our commercial allies, the Ashtangites. And how are evil are they? Are a small organization. The Ashtangites are important partners who share the same pragmatic, moralistic, and spiritual outlook as we do. Okay, the well, that's Oshanabi concerning then. Provide us with a source of food. While carrying out the Tycoon's initial testing. Okay. By making it the first exclusive trade partner of the Tycoon, we will demonstrate to our long term allies that Dolos wishes for them to share in our successes. Please nice. assign a cargo ship so that we can check the trade routines. Well done. Administrator. Yep. Trust in genetic connectors. Self similar space will reveal the pattern. I'm sorry, are you having a stroke? Okay, sure. Um, so we're doing that. So now we build a cargo ship and a science ship. So we're going to build both of these. We need these little coggy things there. That's why I built another stockpile, so we can stockpile the coggy things. All the coggy things? I don't know. 
I'm, I've, I've had no, I mean, they've, they've stuck me up here in a space station and told me to build ship and reveal self space or something. And I, I'm not trained to do any of this. So God knows what they're thinking, but we've got cocky things. So that's, that's fine. So I'm going to build cocky things or collect them from the big pile of garbage that we currently have stacked in the space station for some re reason. And uh, we're also building our uh, little tech lab there, which should be fine. The spaceships need the little cogs to be built for some reason. And once they're built, we can then do things with them. So, for example, our cargo ship is now complete. So we have our cargo ship there. Perfect. And what we can do is we can now send him to do little trade runs, which is fun, isn't it? So, we're going to close our door. Off he goes. Right, so now if we go to the planetary. So, we now have... Um, our right so we can click oh no wait what what did we have to do again hang on uh it's 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 this one isn't it fleet right yes so we've got fleet management here so i can tell the conan the barbarian conan that fucking cartoon why do they make a cartoon of like a really raunchy adult film same reason to make toys of Terminator, I guess. Anyway, so we'll send him off. He'll go and get some, some food from... There he is. So you can see him going backwards and forwards. So he's collecting food for us, bringing it back. And now we've got some events. So the moon, an abandoned base camp. Summary of intelligence collected from the abandoned base camp. The base is out of commission. Auxiliary systems operational may be used to restore power. There is an average probability of finding resources. So we now have... Uh, well, we should have a science ship once it's built, uh, which will be... Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Now. So we now have a science ship. We've got the Gannet Bishop. So we're going to send it to the moon. Zoom, zoom, zoom. They're flying to the moon very fast. Look at him go. Science there he is. Ship has arrived at destination. Cool, we're at the moon. So we've got, say, um, we have reached the UN base using the provided coordinates. It is abandoned and depressurized, but the video surveillance system is still functional, awaiting orders. So we can exploit the security vulnerability or dis dismantle the camp. Now, we can actually do two of these. So we can, we can exploit the security vulnerability, and this will give us science. Because that's how you get science, by hacking abandoned shit, apparently. Sure, why not? Got a little notification. Yeah, because you arrived at the moon. That's fine. I don't need, I don't need tutorials. I know what I'm doing. Fucking, have got an expert here. So a little... little Little cargo ship there. He's dumped a hundred food, which means we can now, you know, replace our cardboard cutouts of food with actual food, which would be very pleasing for the people who are seriously hungry. Uh, you know what I might do is actually connect up. I don't need to, but I just feel sorry for these people who've been running in circles for forever. So we'll free them from their circular prison. And now we've got research. So what we can do here, we've got various different rings of research. Obviously, we can only re uh, research the first, second ring, the second ring. Uh, to start off with. So we're going to the EVA airlock. So that's going to take 30 research. And research we get, not from that, from the moon, because that's where research comes from. So we found 40 research. We can resume. To, so we're going we're gonna to do that one. And our science ship will start hoovering up science from the moon, which is how that works. That's how science works. You just you, you go to a place, you do science, and then you just create beakers of science. And then you just suck them up like a Industrial vacuum cleaner. It's how, it's how it works. I, I don't make the rules. I just That's just how it works. Good. Okay, so, so far, so good. Everything's fine. So we can actually increase the speed a little bit. Everyone's going to run double fight. We freed the people from their circular prison. There we go. They're on their way. That's fantastic stuff. Uh, we could use some more alloys. So what I might do is... What I might do is actually connect these up. Like that. And I'm then going to knock down what happens to people when you destroy the road on their feet. They just disintegrate. There we go. We've created some space now. And we've got some research, which is fantastic. And as we're, as we're making research, we can then actually use that to research additional things. So if we have a look at here, we can see we've we found alloys and science. The science ship will hoover up the science, but it can't hoover up alloys. That's not how science ships work. Are you an idiot? Of course not. So we could send our cargo ship to go and pick that up. But to be honest, we've got plenty of alloys from all the shit already on our space station. So we don't actually need... Oh, not again. Administrator, I have an incoming transmission from Dolus's head of medicine, Dr. Abhinav Munchi. Okay. I, I do need a... 
Greetings, uh, Mr. Sorry. Hello. I'm Dr. Abhinav Munchi. Hello. Dolo's expert in compartmentalism and medicine, and a member of the Madhu Council. Am I I'm a member of the Madhu? Finally, meet you, even in this digital manner. Your psychological test results were quite impressive. I thought you say worrying, but Philip Stanford couldn't be here today. No. So I will take the role of introducing you to the final stages of the Vol engine integration. Before we get into that, however, Aren't you the we would like you to complete the testing guy. station's what? exploration and enhancement yeah. capabilities. Okay. You'll then be able to begin researching the EVA airlock and assess its compatibility oh. Oh, with mate. the Titan's core systems. Already I hope fucking on the it. The work of our team will ensure that you are equipped to deal with most situations you encounter up there. Before Bosh. I leave you, Stanford would like me to remind you that space is a far less fanciful and forgiving environment than science fiction would have us believe. It would be wise to remember that. Uh huh. I told you he's a big boy, didn't I? The the airlock, not this this guy. Why is the head of medicine talking to me about an engine? And in fact, he didn't really do anything. He just went, "No, it's an engine." Hello. All right, we'll build the road there to make that a little bit easier for him. And uh, yeah, the EVA airlock is is friggin' massive. It needs to be built on the outside of the ship as well. So you need to build it that location. It doesn't really tell you that, but you need to build it on this side. And so clearing out a big space for it is <laughs> the first time I was like, oh shit, I don't have any space for it because I built everything down here. So then I had to try and like clear some other space, and I didn't. I I, I had too many alloys. So I had to keep building storage things just to pile this. And then I ran out of power. And, oh, it was a disaster. Absolute disaster. Okay, we're going to get the probe launcher. Sure, that makes sense. Why not? And we're just going to build this one, which is fine. So we are hoovering up all the science. So our science ship... Is there any more science at the moon? Or is the moon dry? I think the moon might be dry of science. I don't think there's any science. We've, we've sucked all the, all the science out of the moon. It's done. Uh, as, yeah, we've... we've the, si the moon is useless to us now. Blow it up. That's what I'd do. Fuck the moon. We don't need it anymore. We're going to Mars. Probably, if I can remember the button to get... get there. We, that, right, we're off to Mars. There we go. Fly faster. Meow. I was not that fast. Come on, mate. Hurry up. Don't have all day. All right, let's have a look what's going on over here. Have we finished? Nope, 50. We still need more alloys. Uh, in fact, it might be worth... If, yeah, we, we are kind of running out of alloys, so we'll, we'll grab some more alloys. He's a big boy. He needs plenty of alloys to build, so we will uh, There we go Do it doing the alloys thing We've now got our probe launcher just in case we need to probe anything fantastic And we should have reached the the Mars by now the Mars <laughs> We've reached the Mars so um you don't have a subject facility on Mars. They are currently lacking the materials required to repair a critical fort in their oxygen supply units. We can repair the fort in exchange for resources or repair the oxygen in exchange for research data. Um, 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 yeah, we'll do, we'll do that. And we can actually, so we need to basically send them some resources to help them. So we'll send them some resources and basically, oop, no, I meant to actually click that and then, yeah, off you go. Right, we'll do that, and basically they'll they'll go off and, and do that, and then some more science will will appear, and uh, we can supple that science up as well. And then once we've got all the science from Mars, well, I guess we need to go to a new solar system to find additional science to suck up, probably. So we'll do all this kind of good stuff. Let's have a look over here. Have we? Are you still are you still doing stuff? Or maybe you didn't have any cogs? Oh no, I did actually mean to do that. Put the wrong fucking button. Okay, off you go. I guess you're doing food at the moment, so you'll go and do that in a minute, which is, which is good. You can also build, like, mining ro uh, riding droid mining ships, so we can send those out to mine stuff. Obviously, once you get out of um, the solar system, once you've tried your, your mole engine, or whatever the fuck it is, you then are on your own, and you have to sort of, like, get resources by yourself. Oh, finally. Jesus. Scientists. We found 60 science. Look at this. 60 science. Scientists. What are they? What do they want? How do we kill them? That's the question. Right, so we are... Yeah, that's fine. We'll go and hoover up all these bits as well. Do all that kind of good stuff. Don't need to worry about you. Or that. 
Uh, we do actually have, so there's actually upgrades you can do on the different bits as well. So for example, the cargo ship. So you can do post lunaclasm chambering. Well, that's not foreshadowing, is it? <laughs> can you guess what happens? Oh, oh, you can't wait. Yeah, fuck the moon. We don't need it. Don't have any science left on it. Fuck it. We'll get science another way. Good. Uh, right. So I think we've, if we sucked, we sucked all the science out of Mars. There's more science at Saturn, so we'll go to Saturn and suck the science out of Saturn as well. Just go around sucking off planetary bodies. That's what this game's all about: sucking them dry of their science, their lovely, creamy science. Mm, delicious. Right now we've <laughs> now, now we've built this. We can build stuff on the outside of. Uh, if, if, well, we're going to build the Vol engine basically. So we're going to whack the Vol engine. Up there. We can also build solar panels to increase our uh, power. So I'm going to... Yeah, sure. Let's build some solar panels. Because more solar panels means more power. And currently we're at maximum power. So we only we only have 60 power. And we're currently using all of it. So anything else we build, everything will suddenly shut down. Oh, not again. Administrator, the different phases of preparation, calibration, and verification were successfully completed. Great. You must now start the full binding procedure. And what? Dolo's protocols now deem each ship has arrived at destination. Knowledge and test colonization routines once you reach Proxima Centauri. Before cool. you do so, Vanier Dolos, Marduk Council Founder and Dolos CEO, wants to talk to you. Does he? Is this going to be like. He's going to be like Elon Hello, Musk, isn't he? I'm Hi. glad to see that you have managed to complete your assignments in preparation for this unique moment in history. You're wearing a turtle neck, I notice. You must understand that this is not simply another chapter in humanity's story. The book of our life on Earth is over, and we stand now at its epilogue. It saddens me to think that there are many who have yet to comprehend the reality of our situation. Oh, you're a little ray of fucking Even sunshine, aren't you? Endless cycles of war, crisis, and famine. Still, the worst is yet to come. There are others like Dolos who have prepared for this outcome, but most of our kind remain sheltered from the horror of the predicament we find ourselves in. This pale ghost of civilization will wither and die. And Jesus. With it, the tenets and values of the past. As we prepare to leave this system for the first time, perhaps we must decide which fragments we will pick up and take forward with us. Through Have you considered doing some like color coloring therapy? Anything? An alternative means Hug a survival. kitten. The tycoon is a tablet upon which we will carve our new history. Oh, uh, you're Do you evil, aren't you? I have done all of this. Because you're evil. Having foreseen our fate, I became fixated on altering it. I set about fashioning the ropes and tying the knots that would bind together this magnificent ship. Uh -huh. It is true that our time in this world is brief, but at least I can rest assured knowing that my legacy will endure for eons. Farewell, okay. Administrator. Yeah, bye. For the few who stand in the light and the many who dwell in the dark, you carry the fate of us all. It sounds very final for a test run. Just throwing that out there. Anyway. Oh, um, I'm, I'm sorry. That, I'm, I didn't put the phone down. Bye. Good. Okay, well, that's enough from him. Okay, so we found the dark side of Saturn. A signature in, resembling that of an EKP propulsion has, propulsor, has been detected. EKP propulsion technology is the exclusive property of Dolos, yet rockets indicate that the company has not deployed any mission to this, this sector. The signature will soon enter the atmosphere of Saturn. Uh, once the signature has passed through Saturn's atmosphere, the Gannet Bashir team will analyze EKP residues and verify the signature song. Um, let's send a team to investigate. Let's do that. We'll just rush this one while we're... Because basically, we have a look at our little space station. Ba I mean, we, basically, we've, we've done this. So we don't really have to uh, build anything else now. It's basically... This is just a little, little like tutorial area. I just want to see what this is because I haven't actually done this before. Oh, ah, oh, fuck it. Oh wait, no, I did. I cancelled it. It's fine. No, no, I, I meant to do it. It's fine. 
Look, I, I don't know what the buttons do. Oh, it's gonna take effort. Oh, fuck it, it's fine. I don't wanna worry about it. Uh, right, what do we have to do? We have to, uh, the, 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 ah, this one, right? We have to move the tycoon to the moon. Yes. Where the science isn't, because we've already sucked it dry. Okay, so we're on our way to the moon. That's fantastic. We've now reached the moon. Didn't take long, did it? Hey, eh? No worries. Now if we have a look at our... Oh, God, again. Look, I just want to see what's at Saturn. I want to see what this is. And then we can hit the Vol engine button. Do I take the transmission or do I just... <laughs> just like, ah, no. <laughs> Push the big red button. Could be bothered to listen to anyone else again. Ah, uh, what? Of your continued successful management of the tycoon, yes, yes. Have authorized the dispatch of new crew members and food supplies. Please ensure that they have suitable accommodation once you reach Proxima Centauri. Okay. Is that it? Right. I'm gonna hit the big, big button. Hit the button. Charging full engine. Oh, we sucked all the science from Saturn. That was quick. Yeah, why not? Earth, our home, she is unique. Held in its bosom are the ingredients of evolution. Beyond raw survival, beyond the safety of comfort, we, humanity, pursue something greater. We have learnt, persevered, shaped our knowledge from that which is found in the furthest realms of science. However, Humanity has brought destruction to the earth, polluted its blood, choked its breath. Today we are paying the price for this. We know the taste of a dying world. But the earth is not to be our grave. A mother does not wish to see her children disappear with her. She wishes to see instead courage in her children to carry on. Dolos carries this courage. We have gone further than any nation, moved faster than any corporation, hand in hand with those who, like us, carry that courage. The Tycoon Station is both an epilogue of these endeavors and a prologue to humanity's next steps. Our Council of Scientists leads the vanguard. They know, as do we all, that the survival of humanity now depends on what we glimpse out there dark, that we are masters of our own destiny, that we must go as a species bound together, pushing further into the unknown. We set sail on this new sea because there is hope to be found, horizons to explore, and because our very existence depends on it. I give you the stars. I give you the full engine.